Hey YouTube, we are back in the shop doing the rip out for the electrical work. So after you rough in and you run all the cables, the next step is rip out and that's where you take all of the uh, little pigtails that you see up there. I just haven't done the lights yet, but I figure this is a good stopping point to film to kind of show you what rip out entails. So you go from that, those little dangly uh, pieces of Romex, down to something like this. So let me pull this out. I'll show you what we got going on. So a variety of uh, devices we're wiring. So in this case, this is a quad outlet. See the outlets on the floor staged and ready to go. Now there's a couple ways you can wire this. You can wire them where you can just have little jumpers that daisy chain the two outs together. I decide to use the pigtail method. Um, that way I can have, I can remove one outlet and the other outlet still works. Or if that outlet happens to go bad, the other one still works. So I think it's just easier from a maintenance point of view. Uh, if you notice the labels that we had uh, previously are now cut and just put on our hot wires here. And basically the process here is you first, you tie all the grounds together. So we have two wires coming in. So we've got two grounds going in and then we have two grounds going out for our little pigtails to hook on our, our recepts. So we just made this joint here with the big wire nut. Push that back in the box and we do the same thing for our neutrals, same pattern, and the same thing for the hots. When it's all said and done, you've got these, sorry, bad camera work. You have a pair for each outlet. So left side, right side. Now this one I'll say is probably my best one. It was also the last one. I, I haven't really done this before, so I kind of got a lot of practice. Um, I'll show you my first one. And it's the ugliest because I was still figuring it out. And it had an extra wire in the mix. So you can see there's kind of a mess in there. There's an extra wire nut with some jumpers to try to get everything all working because I screwed it up once. But I think it will work. I believe it is to code. There's nothing unsafe about it. I've got all the proper joints. I twisted the wires before uh, I put the wire nuts on using my uh, linesman pliers. And like I said, this one's got a little more in it because not only do we have the two wires coming in here, but we also have a third wire going down to an outdoor outlet, which is right there. So as I kind of pan around, you can see we just went all the way around and did all those outlets. Now here's an example of an outlet that's at the end of the circuit. We've got one line coming in. And so it's the same concept, still made the pigtails, but instead of a total of four wires in the joints, we we'll only have three. So I got to use the smaller wire nuts just to save space. Um, down here, we also uh, did the rip out for the switches for the lighting. So this is the first switch, and we've got power coming in on a 14.2 and then going out on a 14.3. So for this first switch, the way we wire it is we tie the neutrals. We obviously tie the grounds. So we just have, in this case, we use what they call a greenie, a green wire nut, which basically has a, a hole in the end. So you can tie in number of grounds together on the backside and then just leave one little long tail that you can uh, fit your device to your device. So it's nice and neat. So got the ground for our switch. In this case, for our wiring, we just tie the neutrals together to carry the neutral up to the light. And then we've got our line voltage coming in, which will go to our common on our switch. And then we've got our 14.3 um, black and red for our switch legs, for our, our three-way, our travelers, not switch legs, our travelers. So that's the switch leg going up. And we saw that previously going to the lights and basically it's gonna daisy chain all along those lights. So the reds will go to the reds and carry that traveler signal. The whites will daisy chain the neutral and the blacks will daisy chain the hot. And uh, ultimately coming down into this box. Now here's where it gets fun. This is the first four way switch. So, the way we did this, I'm going to show you in the box, we tied our blacks together, so those are our hots. And now take the hot 
to the common terminal on the other three-way switch, all the way from the light. And then what we did was we redesignated our neutrals as hots so that we can have our, our pair of travelers. Travelers coming in, travelers going out to the three-way switch. Again, same green wire nut there. Moving along. End of the line is our three-way switch. Single 14-3 cable coming in. And we've got, pull this out, our ground, obviously. We have our hot wire going to the common in the switch. And then we've got our two travelers. Again, the white redesignated as a hot. So this was what I was telling you about in previous videos. About I was able to wire up this setup like I wanted. And I am technically breaking code. Because if you noticed, on those two switches over there, there is not a neutral in that box. And code says you thou shalt have neutral in box in case thou puttest in a smart switch that might need a neutral. Well, I might eventually. But if I do, I have a neutral in this particular box that I could put the smart switch in. And if I'm going to control the lights via Wi-Fi, I don't need three smart switches. I only need one. So, to me, that's a perfectly acceptable compromise. So, uh, that's all for this video. Uh, next up is going to be installing all the devices, switches, and outlets. So, I will bring you along when that's done. See you later.